Hello and welcome to program 64 in this series of programs and tutorials that focus on TradeStation Easy Language. Program 64 seeks to look for turning points on a chart, as you can see on the chart. And um, it's very similar to program 21, but program 21 was only available through the App Store. Whereas this program is available for download, it is unprotected, as is the function that it uses. And uh, I'm also including with this program a bonus video and a bonus program that seek to explain a little bit more how these turning points are calculated. So first of all, let's have a look at the inputs and uh, I'll try and explain how they work. So format analysis technique and um, we've got uh, First of all, slope filter, extreme number of bars, and CCA, CCI extreme valve. These are the inputs that will affect the turning points. And slope filter and extreme number bars are used to calculate the type three of the turning points, uh, not in type one or two. Extreme number of bars, that is used to calculate the type four turning points and then extreme val that is used in type 2. So just to give you an example if we change CCI extreme val from being from being 325 to something like 50 we're going to see a lot more a, a larger number of plots on the chart so it's probably not what you want to do so I'm just going to go back and uh, just change that to 325. Now you'll see in a few places where we've got two plots on the same bar and the separation of the two plots is determined by the user input spacer. So what it's saying here is that they are spaced 10 multiplied by the min move away from each other. So that can be varied for a, a, um, a currency that's probably going to be a number 10 to 100 for instance for something like the e-mini you would just leave it as one alerts alerts if set to true means that every time a plot occurs we get an alert and uh, print info uh, determines whether we print data on the turning point so i'm just going to set that to true and if we just go back the program will recalculate and then if we turn on the print log like so you'll see the uh, the type of turning point the date time and what the value high or low uh, were for that particular turning point another difference between uh, program 64 and program 21 is what I've actually done at the end of the program is drawn lines from the most recent high and low uh, turning points. So here uh, we've got a line and here we've got a line and then we've put, we've appended to that the value uh, of the particular uh, level, line level. So you can see those printed there. Now the colors of both the plots and the lines are determined by the uh, user inputs. And uh, you'll see that there's a uh, very large number of colors. They need to be included in quotes. And the actual colors available, you will find on the web page that goes along with this particular program. Anyway, I hope you might find this useful. As I say, I'm going to include uh, a bonus video going through those uh, inputs and explanation of how it works in a little bit more detail. And also uh, a bonus program, which uh, explains how the plots 4, 4B and 4T work in a little more detail. Thank you very much.